Hi and welcome to Playdate at the State Library of Victoria with me, Julie Murray from Sounds Like This. Sounds Like This works and plays on the traditional lands of the Bunurong people of the Kulin Nation and I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. In today's session I'm going to use a drum and some shaky eggs. If you do not have a drum or some shaky eggs, it doesn't matter. You just need something to bang on or a friend to play with and something to shake. Anything at all will do. That, um, anything that fits in your hands is perfect. Let's jump right into playing. I have my ukulele with my one, two, three, four strings. It looks a bit like a guitar, doesn't it? <clears throat> some of my friends think it think it's a guitar sometimes because it has a body made out of wood. It has a hole in the middle like a guitar does. It has a long fretboard along here and a neck and strings pulled tight from here to here. This one only has four strings though. And it's a lot smaller than a guitar. Push down over here and strum it over there. And when I move my fingers, it sounds different. One nose 
and one mouth. <laughs> two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear a sound. One little nose to smell what's sweet. And one little mouth that likes to eat. <laughs> Two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear a sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that likes to eat. <laughs> There's someone in my story later on who likes to eat things, quite strange things. You'll see soon. Let's have another try. Ready? Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear a sound. One little nose that's got to smell what's sweet. And one little mouth that likes to eat. <laughs> Did you notice I made a little mistake? Oh, well, that happens sometimes. Everybody makes mistakes sometimes. And you know what? When I make a mistake, I like to have another go. Let's have another go together. Two little eyes to look around. Two little ears to hear a sound. One little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that likes to eat. <laughs> we did it right that time. How fantastic. Oh, clever us. Clever, clever. Let's have another go. One more lucky last one. Two little eyes to look around, two little ears to hear us sound, one little nose to smell what's sweet, and one little mouth that likes to eat. <laughs> very good. If I listen very carefully, oh, I can hear something. Can you hear something? Hmm. Listen together. Mm. I hear with my little ear mm. something that sounds like this. Mm. <laughs> Who does that? Mm.
Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Bzz. Zum, zum, zum. Bzz. Busy bees go hum. Flittering round, don't they look funny? Gathering pollen to make honey. Zum, zum, zum. Busy bees go hum. Bzz. Oh! What do you suppose? A bee sat on my nose. What do you think? She gave me a wink and said, I beg your pardon, I thought you were the garden. <laughs> bye bye bee. My story is, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Bzzz. There it is. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> Gross. This song has been illustrated by Pam Adams and published by Child's Play from their Books with Whole series. Can you see the fly in the middle? Bzzz. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. But I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. <coughs> but I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Fancy that she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider and then wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. But I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hug to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. Meow. Oh, woof, woof, woof. Meow. <laughs> she swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, but I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. No. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. Ruff, ruff. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. But I don't know why she 
swallow a fly, perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. No! She's dead, of course. <laughs> you can't eat horses and cows and dogs and cats and birds and spiders and flies. It's not good for you. No! No! Illustrated by Pam Adams um, and published by Child's Play from their Books with Holes series. <clears throat> Let's get a drum. Alrighty! <laughs> so to play this game, you can either do it like I am going to do it, where you do drum or bang on anything really, a box or a tub, a container, but you drum. Bang. <laughs> and then clap. Like that. If you want to do it with a friend, you do together, together, <laughs> clap, together, clap, together, clap. So that means that all the drum ones are together ones. So you can do that instead if you have a friend to play with. Or maybe a grown-up to play with or a sibling. Miss Barry Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, 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 all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, mother, mother for fifty cents, cents, cents to see the elephant, elephant, elephant jump over the fence. It jumps so high, 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 and it touched the sky, 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 and it didn't come back, back, back to the fourth of July, July, July. <laughs> Did you notice in my song there are some repeated bits? Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, buttons. Buttons all down her back, back, back. I wonder if you can help me with the echoey bit. That bit that goes bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum. Have a go. See if you can help me. Together, clap. Together, clap. Or drum, clap. Drum, clap. Here we go. Miss Mary Mac, all dressed in black. With silver buttons, all down her back. She asked her mother, mother, for fifty cents, cents, cents to see the elephant jump over the fence. It jumped so high, high, high. It touched the sky, and it didn't come back till the fourth of July. <laughs> How did you go? Tricky? Let's have another go. A little tiny bit faster. Miss Mary Mac, all dressed in black, with silver buttons, buttons all down her back. She asked her mother for 50 cents to see the elephant jump over the fence. It jumped so high, 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 it touched the sky, and it didn't come back, back till the fourth of July. Good job! Well done! <laughs> I'm done getting. Excuse me. I am going to do it with all of the words in it this time. If you know the echo bit, you can feel free to sing along with me. That would be great. Boom, clap, boom, clap, 
my potato salad. today is Mama Buy Me a China Doll. This is a folk song from the United States of America. Uh, it's been adapted by John M. Feyerabend and illustrated by Alyssa Norton from GIA Publications from their First Steps in Music series. If you've never seen a China doll before, I'll just show you what they look like. Here we are. This is a China doll and she's very precious. She's an old fashioned kind of a toy and her hands and her face is made of porcelain or China, which is the same sort of stuff as fancy teacups. They usually have a soft sewed and stuffed body um, and they can sit or play or whatever it is that you want to do with them. They're expensive and precious. And our little friend in the story today really, really wants one. Mama, buy me a China doll. No! Do you know where they are? On the farm. There she is. And she says, Mama, buy me a China doll. Oh, Mama, buy me a China doll. Mama, buy me a China doll. Do, Mommy, do. But where will we get the money from? We could sell Daddy's feather bed, sell Daddy's feather bed, sell Daddy's feather bed, do Mummy do. But what would Daddy sleep on? He could sleep in the horse's bed, sleep in the horse's bed, sleep in the horse's bed. Do mommy do? <laughs> but where will the horsey sleep? <clears throat> he could sleep in sister's bed, sleep in sister's bed, sleep in sister's bed. Do mommy do? <laughs> 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 Doesn't he look comfy? But where will sister sleep? She can sleep in the baby's bed, sleep in the baby's bed, sleep in the baby's bed. Do mommy do? And where will the baby sleep? She can sleep in the kitten's bed, sleep in the kitten's bed, sleep in the kitten's bed, do I do? Where will the kittens go? They could go to the chicken coop, go to the chicken coop, go to the chicken coop, do I do? <laughs> but 
But where will the chickens roost? Hmm. Hmm. They could roost on Grandma's rocking chair. Roost on Grandma's rocking chair. Roost on Grandma's rocking chair. Do my day. Oh. But where will Grandma sit? Hmm. She can sit in the piggy pen, sit in the piggy pen, sit in the piggy pen. Hmm. Do mommy do? <laughs> Does grandma look very happy? Oh really? <laughs> but where will the piggies sleep? <coughs> They could sleep in my own bed, sleep in my own bed, sleep in my own bed. Do mommy do? <laughs> but where will you sleep? I can sleep on my mama's lap, sleep in my mama's lap, sleep in my mama's lap. Do I do? Oh, snuggled in, comfy, cozy. What do you think? Should she get her dolly? It's all sorted, isn't it? Everybody has somewhere to sleep. And there's her beautiful doll. <laughs> That was Mama Buy Me a China Doll, adapted by John M. Firearven and illustrated by Alyssa Norton from GIA Publications from their first steps in music series. <laughs> we are almost finished for today. Take a deep breath into your tummy. lovely. That's a beautiful fresh air for your body. One more. This song is called Maranoa Lullaby and it sounds like this. Mama translates to sleep now comes the dark in your bed of bark none shall harm you dear mother watches near sleep now comes the dark in your bed of shall harm you dear mother watches me mama or I know.
children. Goodbye, grown-ups. Goodbye, Julie. It's time for me to go. We're all finished. Thank you for joining.